Hi Capricorns, this is going to be a quick uh, reading for you guys. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, happy Sunday and happy uh, New Moon in Libra. Okay, so we got humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Okay, we got purpose. I know what I am here to do. And one more. One more. And we got imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. But with this imagination here, okay, yeah, we got fear. I, re I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. We got pride, okay? I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And then we have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And we have regret and honesty, okay? So somebody could be, somebody may not, somebody, I don't know. So some of you guys may be either imagining the worst here with someone or maybe you feel like somebody's not being honest or this is you guys not being honest with someone and it could be fair maybe you don't want this person to leave you or they don't want you to leave them or something like that okay you know with this imagination card i feel like a lot of you guys yeah transform 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 worrisome thoughts a lot of you guys could be worrying and fearing something here okay all right so let's we got remain centered I'll show you what the card looks like, Capricorn. So this, yeah, remain centered. Okay. It says, today's lesson, focus on conscious tranquility. No matter how stressful the day is, your intention is to remain centered and calm. Your goal is to learn that you can control your psychic energy. Yeah, so, you know, this is not the time. Don't, you know, you may, have, I don't know, especially during this new moon in Libra, you know, it is a, well, we are in Libra season and you guys are a cardinal sign like Libra. So, you know, and we are in Mercury retrograde. So there may be people that may be old people, new people, exes, family, your kid, whoever, maybe friends, neighbors, coworkers that may be triggering old feelings and old ways about yourself that you're actually trying to transmute okay so you're being told to remain centered and like laugh this would be the, a good time to laugh things off capricorn placements capricorn okay this would be a good time to laugh things off <laughs> it says mm, purpose i know what i'm here to do examine your personal interactions today's lesson determine whether you to determine whether you're someone who's always giving to others, but who feels unnoticed or unappreciated. If this applies to you, it may be because you have a private agenda to seek love that's built into your motivation to be of service. Your goal, to examine whether your interactions with others leave you empowered or disempowered. Yeah, Capricorn. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you may need to take a step back from pouring into people and start really focusing on what your purpose is, okay? We have practice visualization here. And with this imagination, again, instead of focusing on the words, start focusing on what's the important things, the things that matter, the things that you that, that are guaranteed investment, that are guaranteed getting something back on your return. The thing about people and relationships, people can be real fickle. Like, and, and this is not to this is not to be pessimistic or to be cynical, but you know, make sure you are, especially for those of you who are trying to seek out your purpose, you know, and all our purpose here on this earth is to serve others, right? To be of service of some kind, right? Whether it's through, mu whether it's through music, dance, art, tarot, uh, being a teacher, a leader, a parent, a friend, a lot, whatever, right? But, you know, examine the reason with this purpose here, right? Examine the reason behind why you're doing things, are you trying to cling to people in, or situations? I don't, is it fear? Is it insecurity? Is it lack? Like, what's, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you overgiving? You know, you know what I'm saying? Because when we overgive, it's from a place of lack. If you think about it, because we overgive because we are, we are afraid to lose someone or something. Okay, especially where, you know, so just, you know, Balance is definitely a theme for you guys here, especially for those of you who have Libra placements or Libras with Capricorn placements. This imagination. <laughs> yeah, you know what wanted to slip out? It said rely on yourself. 
Capricorn. And you guys have, and you guys may. What happened, baby? What happened? Not play with. Maybe you should. Maybe you shouldn't play with that anymore. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hold on, Capricorn. My bad, y'all. Um, yeah, with this relying yourself, so let's read what it says. Look at the issue of dependency, right? Do you rely upon others to do what you should be doing for yourself? And that could be anything, loving. Do you rely on other people to love you when you should love yourself? Do you, do you rely on other people to know what your needs are? But meanwhile, you neglect your own needs and you, you pour into others who don't pour back into you. Do you do you expect people to read your mind instead of speaking up for yourself in the moment? You know, things like that. Uh, healing is a solo, a solo endeavor. And while we all need support during this process, ultimately, the task of self-improvement rests with us. Your goal to identify and modify the ways in which you release personal responsibility to others. And also, you can flip it. Don't let people make you feel like you're responsible for them. Okay? Especially grown adults. Okay? So, what's this? Eat, eat uh, healthful foods. Eat only the foods that are good for you. Perhaps this is something you normally do, in which case you should feel very good about how well you're caring for yourself. Most people, however, know that they should be more attentive to this area, but find it difficult. Your goal to practice healthy nutrition. So with the imagination, some of you guys, your diet could be throwing off your intuition. If you guys are feeling into this, and you don't have to be a tarot reader or a spiritualist or an astrologer, you don't have to. For some of you guys, if there's important decisions, if you're if you're a creator or you know you do something creative or you want to do something creative or you just you know you want to you want to kind of change up your life and you don't know what path to go down and you don't know how to get there, that stuff takes creativity. If you're you know if your intuition, if your gut health is out of order, your your intuition, your creative, all of that, all that stuff is going to be out of order. So now is the time, Capricorn, especially for those of you who are uh, energy workers or work with people or you know anything of the sort like that it's time to be mindful of what you're eating because it could be clouding you guys third eye and crown chakra so for those of you who have decisions to make important ones it may be you know you may be feeling a bit indecisive or apprehensive or ambiguous about it okay so what's this yeah some cancerian energy here with this chariot some of you guys feel like you don't you know you you may feel a bit out of control. Some of you guys are lacking control, willpower, discipline. Okay, you may feel like there's blockages in your life. There's one thing after another. When you try to go left, something, something you know, knocks you know, knocks you back into right. Or you know, you take two steps forward and you take ten back. So this could be how you guys are feeling. You could feel like there's one, there's something that's always like getting thrown. There's always a monkey wrench thrown into your plan. So this is why you guys are being told to remain humorous and laugh things off because it's like. What are you going to do? You know, just walk around angry and upset all day. Like, feel your feelings, yes. But, you know, it's not really much you can do sometimes, okay? Some things, you know, so you could be experiencing blockages. For those of you who have cars, maybe something's going on with your car at this time, okay? Maybe you guys are having a hard time moving forward past something or someone. So, you know, again, you, you know, you guys may feel blocked, directionless, okay? It's going to be different for everyone. Yeah, we got the death card, Scorpio energy. I feel like you or someone here could be resisting change. And you and I want you guys to realize you're not going to get anywhere with someone. Someone is never going to change, okay? And you guys may be stuck in an illusion. But some of you guys are going to have to forgive. You, forgive. you may have to like, oh, you wasted time with this person. You made a mistake. They were a mistake or whatever you had with them was a waste of time. You're being told to, you know, like... We all make mistakes. You're going to have to forgive yourself. Surrender your ego. You're not perfect. You're not always right. Okay? You're going to have to forgive yourself for that. Some of you guys are resisting the fact that somebody is never going to change. You could be dealing with Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces. But someone is never going to change. Okay? That's just, that's just a matter of fact. 
someone is just never someone is just never going to change and that's something that you guys have to accept or it could be you guys the reason why you guys are experiencing these blockages and you know things are stagnant you feel stuck you feel like things aren't moving forward you're having a hard time pushing forward your drive is low your will is low it's because you guys are resisting some form of change this death card is looking right at this chariot here okay Yeah, there's stagnancy. The Empress in reverse. You could be dealing with a Taurus or Libra. Something, yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So either this could be you guys feeling lazy, or you could be dealing with somebody that's lazy. Somebody could be a bad mother figure or father figure. Take it how it resonates. Okay, take it how it, you know, take it how it resonates. Somebody could, you know, or they could see you that way. Okay, so, you know, take it how it um. Take it how it applies. Hold on, Kathy's. Take it how it applies. Okay. But some, you know, there was no return on this investment. Something didn't something didn't bear the fruit that you wanted it to, to bear. And you know, you guys are needing to forgive yourself for that. Okay. Bless you, baby. You're gonna have to forgive yourself for that and you know, move forward. Forgive yourself and move forward. You're going to have to let, you know, let that go. Surrender your ego to that and understand that this person is never going to change. Let, you know, stop give, stop investing your energy, your time, your money or whatever into this person. They're not going to change. It's, it's going to remain stagnant. Something and, you know, constantly pouring your energy into people like this situations and, and stuff like that. Thoughts, whatever it is, it's going to keep your life at stagnant. It's going to keep things from coming in. It's going to keep you blocked from moving forward. Okay, what's this resistance? I'm keeping these very brief. What's this resistance here? Yeah, nine of cups here. Okay, so it's like, nine of cups here. Yeah, I feel like the contentment is like, yeah, somebody's content with how things are. Somebody could be breadcrumbing you or they just, they're not really, you're, you're not really getting what you want. And maybe you tried to see the lighter side of this for a little bit. You tried to give them the benefit of the doubt and things like that. But it's like this person could be your wish fulfillment. Maybe you guys don't want to end something with someone. Maybe you don't want to, you know, change because maybe you're happy and content in how and how things are. But I feel like something else in your life or your life period is stagnant here. What's this nine of cups? Yeah. Persistence. Yeah. Nine. So... Nine could be significant, 18, okay? Somebody here is just, yeah, the fool. Is, it's time for new beginnings. Somebody could also be very naive here, okay? Yeah, the emperor. Yeah, somebody could also be very naive, but I feel like you guys, it's like insanity doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. This is you. So Capricorn, you know, you, there's some decisions that need to be made here. What's this emperor saying, guys? <laughs> Yeah, the hair of font, Taurus energy. Okay, some you guys could could be married to this person, or maybe you were. Okay, could be dealing with a Taurus here. Queen of Swords is a Virgo, Libra, Cus. Somebody could be a September Libra. Okay, or you could be a September Libra and have Capricorn placements. Doesn't matter. Okay, or somebody could just you know. This could be you guys, male or female. Don't get caught up in the agenda of the cards. You could just be in this energy where you're needing to, or you're needing to be in this energy. You need to be direct with this person and speak how you feel. Somebody could also be dragging their feet in regards to committing to something or someone because they like how things are. And somebody here could just be very stubborn and stuck in their ways. And somebody knows that they're going to have to change things or change parts of themselves that they, in order for this commitment or for this, whatever this is that they want, that they may not be ready for. So this could be you or someone that you're dealing with. So take it, you know, take it how it applies, Cappies. This yeah, ten of pentacles, debt. So some might, some of you guys could be clearing out debt. 
okay some of you guys could be needing to speak to like uh could need to consult with someone to help you with that somebody here could be uh yeah defunct yeah this is hmm. yeah this is, is personal yeah, quitting. So somebody could be quitting a job, a long-term job that they've been in for like 10 years. Somebody could be struggling here. Somebody could lose a lot of money or be losing money, losing a home. Okay. Hermit here with the, which is Virgo energy. The tower is Mars energy, Scorpio, Aries. Oh, there's confusion here. What's this? Um, yeah, some of you guys are wanting to give up on something or someone. Yeah, 10 of cups here. Some, this could have been a dysfunctional marriage. Could have been, you could have kids with this person. You guys could have lived together, been married for a while. This could be a job here. You go from the nine of cups to the 10 though. Okay. I feel like you guys are going to be tested. Somebody here may want to get come back towards you and you guys are going to be tested. If you take this person back, I feel like you're going to end up losing more. If you already felt like you lost a lot being with this person, you're going to end up losing even more. Okay. You're going to end up losing more. Y'all, this girl is like trying to get in everything. Y'all gonna end up losing more here. Also, the Ten of Cups is bliss, but it's like you see the rainbow again. It's an you know, it's like it's almost like it could be also a fantasy as well. So you know, don't let nobody sell you no type of fantasy that they can't really give you. It's the Seven of Wands. Or maybe this person sold you that. Yeah, I said some of you guys may want to go into hermit mode during this time here. Okay. It's yeah, there could be conflict going on here within some type of home or family dynamic or with somebody that you have kids with. Okay, Capricorns. Yeah, there's drama. There could be like fights. There could be fights over money or fights who's getting what. Something could this could be about an inheritance. Or it could be about anything, tax money. It could be, it could be a, a, it could be a few things here. But there's definitely some type of yeah, and also just you know, this is a lot. You know, you could be, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. Yeah, somebody could be moving out or moving, uprooting, divorcing. Somebody could have got you know, somebody could be calling off a wedding and engagement or some type of celebration here as well. I just feel like something is just not, somebody overgives. Yeah, somebody could be moving away or leaving something behind. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of regret here. I just feel like somebody is just, somebody's also, somebody's arrogance is what's keeping them stuck and stagnant. Somebody here needs to forgive as well. Okay, what's this hermit in the news? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So it's like, Yeah, I just feel like somebody could be, it's like somebody's just moving really slow. Somebody, somebody is coming in slow or something is coming in slow because it's like there's some things that need to be removed. You could be clearing debt and, you know, things will pick up slowly. This could be energy. You know, again, I feel like with this purpose, I know what I'm here to do and examine your personal interactions. Again, be sure you're setting better boundaries with people that aren't draining your energy on day to This could be people that you talk to on a day-to-day -day basis. If this is somebody that you're always having conflict with, you're going to have to minimize your conflict. Stop finding excuses or ways to interact with this person or talk to them because they're just going to continue to drain you. And then you're going to end up missing out on other stuff because of this. Okay. So, what's this eat help, helpful food? Yeah, moody. Some of you guys could be drinking too much or you're overindulging. With that nine of cups, you could be overindulging in certain foods and alcohols, whatever. I don't know. But um, with, you guys could be overindulging in substances or something that's making you moody. Okay? This, and also, if you guys are feeling moody, you know, this could be a sign of poor gut health as well. Because your gut regulates your emotions is to with this queen of wands here male or female confidence here again some of you guys could be um nutritionists or maybe you guys could be trainers or hiring a trainer or nutritionist or you guys could just be eating better so you can look better and feel better okay so um yeah what's this what's this <clears throat> 
Yeah, just yeah, reckless here. We got Aries energy. What's this energy? And then yeah, so I just you know, you guys are feeling you you guys aren't trapped or stuck. You got you know, you're not trapped or stuck in anything here. Your moodiness is what's keeping you restricted. Okay, and for some of you it's your ego. What's this reckless? Yeah, Ace of Cups, yeah. I just, yeah, be mindful of your feelings at this time. Okay, be mindful of your feelings. There could be some betrayal. Some, you know, you may have people around you that's not being honest with themselves or you're not being honest with someone. There's some type, there could be some type of betrayal that's happening or that's coming up because, again, two of wands, there's a decision. Somebody here is lying about something and I feel like, and I feel like somebody rather just withdraw than to tell the truth. Okay, what's this eight of swords in reverse? Yeah, page of page of cups. Some of you guys could be moody because you're pregnant. Some of you guys can be find out that you're pregnant. That could be why you're moody, or that could be why this person's been moody. Okay, six of wands, victory. Okay, for those of you who have wanted, so, so, so for those of you who want to get pregnant, I'm I'm getting that you guys need to eat better. And drink more water, eat more fruits, more vegetables, take more, take prenatal vitamins. There's certain like, you know, there's things that you can do to boost that. Maybe working out will help. Okay. Some of you guys may feel restricted by your children or a child. This, you may have a child, you may have an older child that's moody than you, you know, then there's a younger one. Or you just may, you guys just may be moody because you guys feel restricted here. But I do see somebody here could be wanting to apologize to you. What's this page of cups? Okay, expect a message, possibly. What's this page? Yes. Yeah, so for some of you guys, this is a pregnancy, and you guys are going to be happy. So you could be hearing about somebody uh, pregnant, so there could be celebrations about that for some of you. Okay, so congratulations, Cappies, if you are pregnant. Okay. Um, what's this Ace of Cups? We have rest and then king of wands. So the king and queen of wands here. So yeah, some, so for my ladies, make sure you're getting a lot of rest here. Some of you guys are with your 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 match, your parent. You guys are needing to be patient or you, yeah, somebody here is needing to be more patient and more, you know, patience is here. When I see the seven of pentacles, it's about holding true to your vision and staying patient. Stay loyal to your vision, whether it's with a person or, what, or whether it's what you want out of life. Okay, but somebody here needs to get rest. Some of you guys could be, you know, not feeling your best energetic selves. For those of you who are working out, make sure you are taking time and day in between your workouts to get rest. You know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Okay, Capricorn? With this Knight of Pentacles, a lot of you guys are needing to uh, be more committed and be more consistent in, in whatever area of life here that, that is the focus or wherever this story is fitting for you guys. So there could be, yeah, some of you guys may have two, three children for some of you guys, okay? But some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign or it doesn't have to be that. You guys could be dealing with somebody where there's a lot of passion here, okay? This person makes you, you know, they, they're, it's like, it's young, you know, it's a bit naive. But with this four swords rest and with this remain centered, I'm getting there's, you know, you guys may need to meditate here. Some of you guys need to get rest. Because you're going to have a lot to, you may have a lot going on soon, especially with this new lover. If this is a new love for some, you're going to have, a, you guys could be going out to eat a lot, cooking together a lot. Somebody could be a chef or, you know, have went to culinary school or something like that. Okay. But um, be persistent, but not stubborn Capricorn. Okay. Be open, but not naive. And, you know, rest, but don't be lazy. And, you know, feel your feelings, but don't let them get you all moody and discombobulated. Okay, so this was your reading, Capricorn. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.